Sticking to sports, the Memphis Tigers kicking off their season this weekend, and what a great start it was. Our Caleb Hilliard tells us why this game is a sign of things to come from this Tigers football team. For the entire offseason, we heard about potential attacking options on this Tigers football team and the impact they could have. And against Bethune-Cookman, we saw that potential, and it could be the start of something special this season. You know, I've kind of mentioned it uh, in, you know, media days as fall camp progressed and, you know, during the offseason that, I, you know, I kind of, I, I told you so, you know, they're going to be special and uh, they're, they'll continue to be special as the season progresses. Yes, Seth, you did. And now we understand. The Tigers had 551 total yards in their 56-14 win over Bethune-Cookman. And head coach Ryan Silverfield says the great start to the season began with the fans. <laughs> Really, it started with the Tiger Walk. We had a ton of fans out there for that, and that kind of set the in motion what our expectations are for the year. We're quite exciting. And that same attitude could be seen across the Tigers football team throughout the game. You could see the players were just hyped to finally play together after months of training. <laughs> Sophomore running back Sutton Smith rushed for over 100 yards, the first Memphis running back to do so since 2021. He did his thing, and uh, I'm proud of him. He, he definitely balled out. Well, Blake Watson, you also balled out. The running back rushing for three touchdowns. A few wide receivers also went off. Junior transfer Demir Blankumsey had six receptions for 98 yards and a touchdown. And this Saturday, the Tigers will travel to Jonesboro for their Week 2 matchup against Arkansas State. At Simmons Bank Liberty Stadium, I'm Caleb Hilliard.